MailerSend is a cloud-based transactional email service that is built for developers, but designed in a way that your whole team can use it. And let me show you what I mean by that by doing a quick overview. Once you log in, you will be greeted with this dashboard that gives you a bird's eye view of all the data connected with all the domains you have added to your account. Now to see your domains, just click domains. Here you'll have all the domains that you connected to your account and you can manage them by either clicking the title of the domain or by clicking manage. Here you'll see all the emails that have been processed, delivered and rejected. Of course, this is a demo account, so you only see a few of them here. Here you have the API tokens and you can pause them or you can change the permissions or delete the tokens. To generate a new one, just click generate new token. Give it a name. I'm just going to call it name and click create token. And there we go. This is the API token that has been created. You can copy it or download it. You should keep this safe somewhere. Let's close this. Here is the new token that has been created. And here are all the tracking details that you can turn on or off. The opens, the content, the clicks, the unsubscribes. You can also track things with your custom link if you need to do that. And on the bottom here, we have the sending instructions for the curl, for PHP, and for Laravel. Now, if you click each one of these, you'll also see these little links with more information. And in this case, we also have the mail or send developer website link. This gives you access to the documentation. Here, you can change the unsubscribe page by clicking this button over here. And here you can choose what will happen once someone clicks the unsubscribe link in your email. They can unsubscribe immediately with this button here, or they can choose whether they want to unsubscribe by clicking one of these buttons, in which case you will uncheck this here. The unsubscribe reasons allows you to see a survey after someone clicks yes here, they will be taken to this page. And if you click unsubscribe reason survey, they will see the survey instead of that success page. Then we can change things like spacing, the width, make things more narrower, regular spacing or large, the fonts, the background, the title colors, you can change the color of the buttons, add borders, font styles, etc. Let's just click save here. And of course you can add your logo by clicking here and by editing the image over here. But let's go back to the management of the domain. We were just here a moment ago. Now let's look at the manage suppressions feature over here. And here we can see all the hard bounces, the spam complaints, unsubscribes. We have no current unsubscribes and the block list. And we can add emails to the block list by either importing them from a file, manually adding them or using a pattern that will automatically block the emails that have that specific text word pattern in it. Let's cancel for, for now. And again, let's go back to the managing the domain. Here we have the danger zone where we can stop the sending or pause the sending and delete the domain. So it's not connected to our system anymore. Let's go back to domains. And let me just show you really quickly how you can add a new domain by clicking the add domain button here, put in the domain. This is of course not a real domain and click add domain. And now all you need to do is edit the DNS records in your hosting company, wherever you have your domain registered or the place where you're hosting your domain. Now this is really cool because if you click any of this text here, it will automatically copy the text to the clipboard so you can easily copy it and paste it in your DNS zone. After you have done this, click I have added the DNS records and click verify domain. Now, of course, I don't see any check marks here because I didn't verify my domain. So let's just go back to domains. And here is that one unverified domain. So let's move now to the next tab, which is the activity tab here. And here you have a live overview of all the things that are going on with your emails. You can also search by recipients, subjects or tags, filter by different dates and by the different tags you have here. You can also filter by the specific domain if you want by just clicking that specific domain over here. You can also go into the specific recipient by clicking on him or her and seeing the email history over here. The actions allow you to print their history, download a JSON file or delete their data. This is very helpful for GDPR reasons. If you need to do that, you have that available to you. Now let's go back to the activities. And here you can also click the subject of the email. 
This will take you to that specific email. You can scroll through it, look at the plain text, at the raw source, and also see what's been tracking. We have tracking opens, links, and we're not tracking unsubscribes. And we see that this email has been delivered and we see the latest event over here. So those are the main activity features. Now let's go to templates. And I love MailerSend because of the builder that allows you to easily create these templates. Now here are all the templates that I have connected to my specific domains over here and the ones that I have not connected to anyone. And I can look at the connected templates by clicking the specific domains. Like let's look at remoteinsiders.com. I have one template connected. Remote creators, I have three of them. And remote on air, I have no templates connected to this domain name. And I can connect one by clicking create a template. You can choose the custom HTML editor or the drag and drop editor. Now let's use this drag and drop one this time. Here you have the different templates. And if you want to preview the template, just click preview, look at it over here. And if you see one you like, just go ahead and click choose. Now this editor is pretty simple to use, but very powerful. Look at this, you can drag and drop things like images, just click on the image, change the image here. This will take you to a file manager where you can choose any of the images you have already uploaded. You can upload it from your computer or from a URL. You can also sort by date, by name, by size, and order them by using this little arrow over here. Also, you can use a list instead of this grid view over here. Once you see something you like, you can just go ahead and click select. And there you go, very easy. You can change the size of the image here with the settings. You can go ahead and manage the alignment. You can have it to the left, to the right, or center. Change the background color and a, a lot of other things. Now you can also add text. You can add a button, a spacer, a, an article, a product, a table. And we have dynamic blocks, which will suck in information from the data you provide to mail or send. And we have the section blocks over here, which allow you to add blocks and make different types of columns. You can have two columns or three columns, depending on the section block you choose. For images, just click here, select the image, write your text over here. And by highlighting it, you can use all these options here for for formatting, having creating a heading, underlining, creating a list, linking it to something, changing the size, the color of the text if needed, making uh, aligning it to the left or the right, and using variables. This is for personalizing your emails. Once you're done with the block, click Save. In the settings, you have other options like color settings for all the blocks. You can do this globally from here. And the footer settings allow you to change all the design elements in your footers. Once you're done, you can always save and publish, but you can also save it as a draft. And here we have the additional settings for this template. We can give the name of the template over here. We can choose the domain which will, it will be connected to. I'm gonna choose remote on air. And I'm going to turn off these default settings for now. This is where you can add this email subject, sender's name, and sender email. You can publish the draft version if you like, save changes if you like. And here is the current version, the draft version, the text version. It will auto-generate, or you can generate your own text if needed, or you can type in your own text if needed. Test data is over here, and the file manager, the access to the file manager we just saw a moment ago, and send a test is over here. Just put in your email address, click send, and you can see that test email in your inbox. You can edit the email again in full screen mode, and the sending instructions are in the bottom, the curl, the PHP, and the Laravel, and as before, you have these links if you need help. Now let's scroll up and let's look at the analytics. And again, you can filter through a specific domain. We have all these additional filters over here. And once you checkbox these or uncheck box these, things will be added, elements will be added over here. Of course, here you only see zeros because like I said, this is a demo account. You can also look at the visual version of this, which is over here. At the very bottom, you can see your reading environment, your email clients, and the locations, the opens by locations are at the very bottom over here. Of course, if you uncheck box these, it will be at the very top, which is here. Here you have access to your plan and billing. 
your invoices and billing information. And the last but not least, you have the quick links over here. You can go to your profile. And the most important thing for me here is this two-factor authentication that I always like to turn on. And also you have the users. You can create multiple users. This is wonderful for your team. They can get in and out. Or even if you want to invite clients, you can use this for that. Just add a new user, put in the email address of the user over here, and choose a user type. You can choose one of these user types or create your own custom user. All you need to use is check these checkboxes, the ones that are important to you, and click Invite User to Join. What else do we have here? We have the file manager we already saw. And just a note, we can also add different types of files, not only the images that I have here available. Then we have the suppressions feature, which I already showed you. Your plan is a link to this plan and billing part. Invoices also goes there. And switching an account, this is wonderful. If you're dealing with multiple companies, if you're an agency, this is really cool to jump back and forth through different accounts. All you need to do is create a user with your email account and you are ready to go. Clicking login takes me back to the dashboard to in this account. And the last thing I wanted to share with you is the 24 seven live chat support. Now we also have a free plan that you can use and that also provides 24 seven email support and all the basic features you need to get started and to start moving forward. So again, Mailer or Send is designed in a way where different types of team members can jump in and use it. We have a powerful sending infrastructure that can allow you to send as, as much as a few emails, but you can also scale up to multiple million emails. And because MailerSend is built with 10 plus years of email deliverability experience, you can be sure that your emails will arrive to their final destination. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and make sure to check us out.